Hi everyone, it's a beautiful sunny day this Sunday. I'm off today, so I'm making the most of it. I'm back to work tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful day, so I'm going to make the most of it today. So I thought I'd pop on today and share with you uh, my latest things that I've been making. And they are these framed origami dresses. And I've, this is actually, um, well, it was a mirror. And I put coordinating papers on the back to make these lovely little framed gifts that can go straight on somebody's wall. Oops, that's a bit like that. So I thought, great for a christening, gift for a little girl, birthday. And I've used, if you can see here, so I've used some vintage buttons and lace. Um, I've popped some trim on the bottom of the double frill there. Each one is different and they're all using these little vintage buttons that I have. A big, I have a big box of buttons, so I've put them to good use. So I'm just going to show you a few of the ones that I've made. Each one is different. Some I've popped little word beads on, the little rows there, and you won't be able to see really, but on some of the dresses, I have used a Spectrum Noir sparkle pen, and it's given it an all over shimmery, glittery look, but I haven't done that on all of them. Um, on this one, this is like, you'll laugh really because this is a piece of um, pink ribbon actually from <clears throat> a Pandora gift bag. And I do like the colour of it and I burnt the edges and just turned it into a little bit of ribbon for that dress. You can always say crafters are thrifty and we tend to use things that we have. So that's that one. And you can do these little dresses in any colour you like. So this one I've used again, there's some nice lace trim there, vintage buttons in here. And it does make, you can get obviously the dresses, you make them up and they just look, they're, they're beautiful as they are plain. But I've decided to add extra little bits just to give them a bit more dimension, a bit more fun. So each of the frames is the same in, in these. And this one actually says a divine, it's got a little sparkling heart and it's a uh, lemon. Lemons, I think this one. So, you know, I could add like names, things like that. So they are really pretty. This is, I think it's, oh, it's divine. And again, the trim, it just adds a little bit more to it. And then there's this, they are very pretty. It just gives, you know, you can give one of these in a gift and people will love them. You know, just to pop on the walls. And then I waited about oh, six weeks, if not longer. Um, I put an order on Amazon, didn't check that it was coming from China because um, I usually order off Wish and they're usually really quick. But I ordered off Amazon and these were late. They took weeks and weeks to get here. And they're just the little picture things that you could sit it in. So if you wanted to stand it rather than hang it on your wall, you could do. And so they, they were really good. They were quite inexpensive and I thought they'd be good to add. And then other projects I've been making. I do love making loaded envelopes. So I've made quite a few of these mini loaded envelopes in like a 1940s, 1930s, 40s, like a, a love sort of theme. So each one currently has got um, a wand in. So that main envelope. And they've all, so far, I've just popped in like a, a little card and an envelope which I'll pop in there. And I haven't really filled them up with things yet, but they're ready to go. So I don't know whether these are going to be racks or if there's a swap that's got a mini loaded envelope, I can go for that. And what I've done, I've, I've used these lovely postcards. There's, it is actually, and I've split them so that the bit is on the bottom pocket and the other bit joins together on the top. And they really are lovely postcards and I bought a great big box of these themed postcards there was horror uh, all from the same sort of 1930s 40s uh, time era and uh, they were 9.99 from TK Maxx so I've put some of them to good use I'm making these lovely rosette ones and you can't see the picture obviously properly until I take the envelope out 
So like I said, I don't actually know what I'm going to use those for. But they, um, they are really fun to make. Make them a great little present or a rack. And then I was looking for more frames for my dresses. And I did come across these in B&M Bargains. And I think you got two for a couple of pounds. But I'm not really that keen on them. There are, I wanted the cream ones. And they only had them in grey and red. And they don't really look that nice. They look a bit cheap to me. So I'm not going to use those for my dresses. What I did get for a friend that she has asked me to make one for her uh, niece is I got this lovely frame. Now, again, this is a, a, the sort of frame I was looking for. And this was actually 2 99 the frame. So rather than it, I mean, you can hang it up, but it, on the back, it's got the little leg so that it just stands as a picture frame would. I personalised it with a name. Added a little key because this is going to be for a uh, 21st birthday, and then this is the little dress. My friend shows the pattern and the colour that she wanted, and what that's going to do that's going to go on here. And it's glimmery, shiny, it's got that Pandora ribbon on that I love. I've burnt the edges for a little bit of a more aged feel, and that's going to go in that one. And these are the sort of frames I want. But if you're making them to sell them, obviously, the, the this frame is probably ideal because it's only £3. But the cheaper frames, that one, that I said, they're really not good. They don't make them look nice, and I wanted them to look nice. So if you know anywhere that sells cream sort of shabby chic frames, let me know in the comments below, and I can go and get some because I have been struggling. I have managed to get these. The, these are the mirror type, so they all have glass underneath. But I get these can only be hung, so I'd rather have some that you can stand them up on. I think they're more versatile. So that, I think that's all I've got today to share with you. See you again next time. Bye-bye.